Hi guys, my name is Safil from Uppercut, a traditional boxing gym that con combines high intensity focus on your workouts. Today I have planned a 45 minute workout for you. It's going to be divided into three segments. The first segment, I will take you to a nice warm up, some simple boxing combinations. The second, the second part, I'm going to take you through training like a boxer. And the last but not least, you're going to push on for your endurance. Now, before we actually get the workout started, I need to take note of two things. Number one, I need you to set up your equipment. If you don't have your equipment set up right now, you can wait till the commercial break after that and then get it done. You need two water bottles, preferably filled it up with water. And secondly, you need a towel. This towel is to wipe yourself off and your workspace around you. Next up, let's get into our boxing. First things first, in boxing, we never face our opponent like so. We are always standing at an angle and this angle is determined by whether you are left-handed or right-handed. If you are right-handed like me, you're going to stand 45 degrees to the right and you're going to twist your upper body towards your opponent. This is uncomfortable, bear with me. What you're going to do next is clench your fist, place it against your cheeks and your elbows rest it on your ribs. Next up, all you need to do is bend your knees a bit and you're going to do the shuffle. You're going to distribute your weight between your front leg and your back leg moving alternately. Now the weight is going on the balls of your feet, not the heels. This way you stay light and you stay focused. This is the boxing shuffle. All right, from here you're going to notice that your feet is going to adjust accordingly and you're going to be stable. From here, this is your stance. Right now, for terminology's sake, those people who are standing with your right leg out, those who are left-handed, for the benefit of you guys, I'm going, to note, I'm going to refer to my front shoulder, my left shoulder as my front, and my back shoulder, my right shoulder as my back. First up from here, we're going to go through six punches. First punch is the jab, it's going to come up from your chin, extend all the way out, twisting it, come back in towards your face. Twist it, all the way in. Twist it, all the way in. So those of you at home, I want you to try it with me. Jab with me, and jab. Jab and jab. Good stuff. Next up is the cross. Now the cross requires you to use your entire body. You're going to twist in from your leg. The reason why you twist in with your leg is because right now your back hand is longer, is shorter than your front hand. You're going to make up for it by twisting your entire body forward. So watch me. The punch starts with the leg. I twist on my heel, sorry, my twist on the balls of my toes. My hip comes forward and then my hand comes up. So all together the cross. Try with me at home, it goes cross, cross, cross. Notice that my left hand, my front hand, is still sticking to my face. Next up from here, we're going to go for the hooks. The hooks are horizontal punches. They come in like that, they end at face level, come back in. So you want to make sure your face is 90 degrees. Sorry, your hand is 90 degrees. You're going to punch out, release it from your chin, 90 degrees, end it at face level, Make sure your shoulder is protecting your chin. Come back in. Front hook, in. Front hook, in. Front hook, in. Next up, the back hook. Same thing, just add in the movement with your feet. So back hook now. One more time. Last one. And done. Next up, the punches that we'll be waiting for, the uppercuts. Now the uppercuts involve two movements. The first movement is called the drop. The drop. Notice when I drop, I just have to bend my knee towards the punch that I'm landing. So if I'm going to throw a front uppercut, all I need to do is drop my weight towards the front and from here, drive it up. Front uppercut, weight towards the front, tension builds on the leg, front uppercut. Relax again, front uppercut, tension, drop, drive. Next up, same thing for your other side, just make sure when you throw that back uppercut, you're twisting on your feet twisting on your feet. You're going to notice any punch from the back, it requires you to twist. A lot of hip movement in boxing. So first up, when you go to your back uppercut, twist on the back, back uppercut. Drop on the back, back uppercut. Six punches, done and dusted. Now we can actually start with the warm-up. First warm-up we're going to go for, in boxing stance, hands up, we're going to go jab, cross, one squat. Jab, cross, one squat. All right, get ready now. Loosen up your shoulders, loosen up your feet. In three, two, one, jab, cross, squat. Jab, 
cross, squat. Jab, cross, squat. You're going to notice that when I squat, I like to make sure my elbows touch my knees. That signals to me that's the end of the squat, and I rise back up. Jab, cross, squat. Jab, cross, squat. When you punch, make sure you extend your hands fully. It twists. It twists, then it comes back. Bum, bum, squat. Bum, bum, squat. Take your time. Nice warm up here. Start to get loose. Start to get your heart rate up. You want to make sure that your hands come back to your chin when you throw. One, two. My hands are still on my chin. From here, next warm up, you're just going to go for regular hooks. Hook on the left, hook on the right. Left, right. Left, right. Regular hooks now. One minute in three, two, one, and hooks. Get a decent pace here. Two things to take note of. First one, don't wind your hooks too much. Don't go all the way out like this. 90 degrees with your hands, hook, hook. Next thing you want to take note of, you want to make sure you end it at face level. Don't follow through with the hook all the way. End it at your opponent's face, bring it back, next hook comes in. So get a decent pace, 30 seconds. You're going to notice that even though the hands are moving, it's going to be followed through with your hips. It's going to be followed through with your legs. The entire body is moving with me as I'm throwing these punches. There is a flow to boxing. And as you work out, you're going to notice a lot of movement involves your lower body as well. From here, we're going to move in to our next warm-up. You're going to go for squats and uppercuts. Remember the drop and the drive? We're going to exaggerate that. You're going to go one squat, as from here, when the squat ends, come up with your uppercut. Relax, squat, uppercut. Relax, squat, uppercut. Squat, uppercut. Try to rise up and use your legs to drive that power up with your uppercut. Again, squat, uppercut. Again, pace yourself here. Few more seconds, squat, uppercut. But for the uppercuts, you want to make sure it ends at face level. So don't bring it all the way up, ends face level. 15 seconds to go. But always relax. A boxer never stays stationary, always bobbing your head. The bobbing of the head doesn't come from the shoulders, it comes from the feet, moving in and out. Next up from here, you're going to go for a bodyweight exercise, speed inchworms. You're going to walk to push up position, walk back up. Relax. Speed inchworms. End it at your push up position and walk your way back up. I want you to build that tension on your shoulders right here. Feel that weight on your back. Good stuff, guys. Great way to warm up here. After this, just one more minute of warm up, and we can start off with a simple combination. Take your time. For those guys out there, you want to add a push up? Be my guest as well. Let's load up that back. In three, two, one. All right. Last minute of your warm up, you're going to start skipping. You're going to imagine that you have ropes around you. You're going to bring it down. When you bring it down, legs come up. Imagine you're skipping. Pedal that feet. Or both feet together. I got a nice pace in. One minute. As your hands roll down under, your feet come up. Just relax and breathe. Now these feet movement, when you skip, is essential for boxing. Because you're always stationary, always mobile in boxing. And you're mimicking that with your skipping. 30 seconds now. Keep it there. Nice pace. If you want to speed up there, guys, go for high knees. All right, let's bring you home. 10 seconds. Keep it there. Three, two, and time. All right, 
Let's start boxing properly now. Simple combinations. Hands up, chin down, first combination, jab, cross, front hook. I repeat, jab, cross, front hook. When you land that front hook, make sure you twist your hip in. So watch me, three punches, three punches at your own pace. Jab, cross, hook. Relax. And again, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good stuff, guys. So we should start to sweat right now at home. Take your time. Land these three punches. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Now it's essential that you're using your hips. So even if I'm not using my hands right now, my hip is going in and out. With my hands, my hips are just following through. All right. Let's go ahead, take it up a notch. Let's add one more punch. Jab, cross, front hook, end it off, cross. With me now, four punches. One, two, three, four. Relax. One, two, three, four. Now, I don't want you to stay in the same spot. So after you throw that movement, after you throw that combination, just move around. Relax, move around your spot. Ha, 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 ha. Relax. Again, bum, bum, bum. One last one. Ah. All right, give me one more. One, two, three, four. All right, one last one. Let's add in two more punches. Jab, cross, hook, cross, front uppercut, back uppercut. Now I know what you're thinking. Where does a drop involve? When an uppercut comes, you throw a drop before a drive. But if you're throwing it in the middle of a combination, you're gonna notice that the combination itself does that job for you of lowering your body. So as you go, jab, cross, front hook, cross, front uppercut, back uppercut. Nice and easy, six punches, let's roll. One, two, three, four, five, six. Relax. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moving around, moving around. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys, 30 seconds on the clock. Let's speed it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get that shuffle in. Again. Bum, 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 bum. Good warm up, guys. Good warm up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Always twisting your hips. One more. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, guys. Before we go off, let me just tell you what we're going to do for today's lesson. All right, we're going to go through distance. We're going to cover distance in boxing by using our footwork. Now, so, so now when we're doing our combinations, we haven't been actually using our footwork much. What we're going to do now is make sure you move forward and back. In boxing, when you move forward, you take one step with your front foot, one step with your back foot. So try with me now. Forward, forward. One step forward, forward, forward. Relax. Two steps forward. One, two, three, four. Reset, and again. Two steps forward, front foot, back foot. Front foot, back foot. Relax again. Let's try three steps forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, the key to moving fast in boxing is using the balls of your feet. So instead of using your heels, you're going to be slower. But if you use your balls of your feet, you're going to be faster and much more silent. So let's try three steps forward, fast, and go. Next up, let's move towards the back. Now, when you move towards the back, you want to make sure you bring your back foot first and then your front foot. You want to avoid doing this. You never decrease your stance in boxing. You either increase it or make it regular. You never make it too small. So when you're moving back, back foot, front foot. Again, moving back, back foot, front foot. One last time, back foot, front foot. So now let's practice, all right? Moving back, let's go. One step, relax. Now two steps to the back. Oops, my bad. Next up, three steps to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now again, let's go for speed. So you want to make sure you go as fast as you can on the balls of your feet. Fast movement, moving to the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. One last one. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And break, guys. All right. After the break, we're going to come back and we're going to be training like a boxer. Right now, go and get your equipment. Go and get your water bottles. I will see you real soon.
Hi guys, welcome back. You're done with the first section, the warm up. Let's moving on to training like a boxer. Now, boxers work for three minutes and rest for one minute. We're gonna go for four rounds now. Four rounds, three minute, one minute, three minute, one minute, three minute, one minute, three minute. The first combination we're gonna roll out with, very simple. You're gonna practice moving towards the back. Hands up, chin down, in your boxing stance and shuffling. First up, jab, cross. From here, you're gonna to step towards the back. Back foot, front foot, cross, front hook. Try with me again. Jab, cross, two punches, step towards the back, cross, front hook. Two punches, all right? So let's try with me now. In three, two, one, and go. One, two, step back, cross, front hook. Now for those of us who are experienced boxers at home, try to go a bit faster. In fact, at the end, try to hit three punch combinations whenever you can. With me now, everyone else, jab, cross, step back, cross, front hook. Remember now, after that, I, want, I don't want you to stay mobile, I want you to move around and go. One, two, one, two. Always make sure you get the fundamentals of boxing right, using the hip when you move. Jab, cross, cross, front hook. One, two, one, two. Here's a piece of advice. You want to make sure every punch lands at the same spot. What I always notice is when people throw the cross, it lands here. When they throw the hook, it lands here. Don't do that. Land it at the same point. So again, jab, cross, step back, cross, front hook. All right, let's push the pace, 30 seconds. One, two, one, two. Relax, again, bum, 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 bum. One, two, one, two. Now the key to being faster is not so much on the hands. It's about the footwork. Bum, 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 bum. All I did was move back faster. All right, keep going. One last strap. All right, now, let's put that water bottles to use. Our makeshift weights, they're gonna be a one kilo or two kilo dumbbells, right? Put it back into your face. We're gonna throw the same combination. In three, two, one, and go. Nicely done. You're gonna feel a bit of resistance, a bit of weight on the tension on your shoulders. Work with that weight. You can slow down, but what I don't want you to do is bring these hands down. Never lower your guard. Jab, cross, cross, front hook. Again, jab, cross, cross, front hook. Pum, 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 pum. Now what I like about using these weights is that you can tell if you are twisting your hand. If you are twisting your hand, you can see the water bottles turn. But if you don't, it's gonna look like this. So make sure you twist. 30 seconds now. Here's where you speed it up. Here's where you're used to the combination. Here's where you start to breathe a little bit harder. Only you push that pace. Moving around. Try different forms of movement after the combination. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. 15 seconds. Let's bring it home, guys. As fast as you can. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. All right. Let's get a hip in. In three, two, one, and time. End of the round, but well, you don't have one minute break. You're gonna take active rest with jab cross. All right, I want you to go as fast as you can with your hands. Straight punches in three, two, one, and speed. Now, what you're gonna notice here is that the speed, there's a trick to it. You wanna make sure you pedal your feet. If I'm stationary and I go, not much momentum. I bend my knees, I pedal my feet, and then I go. My hands are flying. Keep it there. Three, two, two, and time. All right, get that break, guys. Three more combinations for you. Wipe yourself off, get a sip of water. If you're fasting like me, you're thinking about water. All right, next combination for you guys. Now you're gonna work on moving forward. First up, double jab, step forward, front foot, back foot. Now you're gonna land two uppercuts, starting from the front. Uppercut, uppercut, step back. Simple stuff. We're gonna to work towards our opponent now. Let's lure him in with two jabs. Move forward, 
upper, upper. Again, one, two, bum, bum. One, two, bum, bum. All right, guys, at your own pace, get ready. Three, two, one, and go. Bum, bum, uppercut, uppercut. Bum, bum, uppercut, uppercut. Make sure your jabs are swift. They come in nice. All right, if it's a double jab, it's not going to completely end. It's going to go half. One, two, bum, bum. One, two, upper, upper. One, two, upper, upper. Now you're going to notice the shots from the back. They come in nice and hard, all right? There's more power in there because of your hip rotating in. Take that to an advantage. Go hard, bum, bum. One, two, bum, bum. A few more seconds now. Bum, bum. 10 seconds, guys. Let's bring it. One more rep. Bum, bum. All right, halfway through with the round. You know what it is? Pick those water bottles up. You're going to do the same thing. Get ready. Three, two, one. Jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. Jab, jab. Uppercut, uppercut. All right, keep going. Those who are left-handed, right? So they're, stick, they're sticking out with their right hand forward. It's going to look the same. Right hand, right hand. Step forward. Uppercut, uppercut. Same thing, don't worry. Right hand, right hand. Upper, upper. Jab, jab. Upper, upper. All right, keep going. Keep this pace for one minute. One, two. Uppercut, uppercut. Bump, bump. Upper, upper, bump, bump, upper, twist, and uppercut, bump, bump, hip, hip, flow with that. Remember, even if I'm not punching, my hip should be flowing. One, two, one, two. 30 seconds, guys. Let's bring it home. You know what, in fact, let's turn it up a notch. Upper, 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 four uppercuts. Get ready, and go. One, two. One, two, three, four. Again. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Two more reps, guys. Let's go. One, two. One, two, three, four. Last one. Ready? On my count. And go. Jab, jab. Upper, 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 upper. And time, guys. Active rest for this round. We're going to go for continuous uppercuts, all right? Paddle your feet. Lean forward. Let's go. Roll those hands. You guys heard of the shoe shine challenge? Go for speed. Make it count. 10 seconds, just like that. Roll it up. Three, two, and time, guys. All right. 30 second break for you. Wipe that sweat off. If you're like me, you're making a mess already. You want to get another towel? Get a nice break. Third combination now, we're going to take it up a notch. For the first two combinations, we were punching and moving. Separate things. Now we're going to take both of it together. You're going to move forward and punch at the same time. All right? So this is a matter of your coordination. Here's how we're going to go. You're going to go jab with your left leg. Sorry, jab with your front leg. So as you step your front leg out, you jab at the same time. With me, jab, my front leg comes out. My stance is widened. Next time when you throw that cross, back leg comes out as well. Now I've actually taken two steps forward while throwing two punches. Again, so what you're going to notice is that same leg, same side. That's the principal rule. With me, jab, cross, relax. Again, jab, cross, relax. Now don't neglect twisting on your back leg. You still twist when you throw that cross. Jab, twist. Again, jab, twist. Try it on your own. Try to pick up the pace. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Once you're comfortable, only take four steps forward. Jab, cross, jab, cross. Relax. Again, jab, cross, jab, cross. Relax. Again, bum, 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 bum. Nice and easy, guys. We are walking to our opponent with four punches. So those of us who are trying to figure out how do I get faster with this, take faster steps. 
pop, 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 pop. That's all you do. One, two, three, four. Relax, stay mobile, keep on breathing. One, two, three, four. Notice my hands always come back to my chin. At home, I can imagine some of y'all going like this. Hands coming down, keep it at your chin. Ha. All right, from here, we're gonna increase that tension. We're gonna increase that weight with your water bottles. Jab cross, jab cross, stepping forward with the weight. Let's go. All right. One, two, three, four. Always back. Always reset. One, two, three, four. And reset. Again. One, two, three, four. Reset. Now, let's make things interesting. You're going to figure it out by now. Same leg, same hand. So, if you are more experienced, go ahead, try any punches. As long as it's the corresponding foot to hand. So I can throw upper, upper, hook, cross. Upper, cross, hook, upper. Doesn't matter, same hand, same leg. Get ready, for those who are not so comfortable, upper, 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 upper. Ready, last 30 seconds, freestyle it guys. Any punch, it doesn't matter. Same hand, same foot. 30 seconds now. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I'm throwing all sorts of punches now. And that's the beauty of boxing, right? You can go freestyle. There's always different combinations to try. Five seconds now. Let's go. Fast as you can. On you try burst. Pop, 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 pop. Relax. In three, two, one, and break. Active rest. We are left with two sets of punches. Your hooks. Let's go for speed hooks now in three, two, one. And speed. Hands going at 90 degrees. 90 degrees. You make sure. And at your face level, and at your opponent, bring it back. Don't go all the way. Keep going. In three, two, and time. 30 seconds break, guys. We got one last round right now. And here's what we're going to do. You're going to go for a nice long combination. I'll teach you three different kinds of movement. Stepping back, stepping forward, and stepping while punching. Let's combine it all together and make a nice long combination so you can take it home this morning, all right? First up, let's combine stepping back and forward. Jab, cross, step back, cross, front hook. We did this. From here, step forward, uppercut, uppercut. I know some of you are home going, you're just putting both of it together. Try it with me now. Jab, cross. Step back, cross, front hook, step forward, uppercut, uppercut. Don't confuse yourself. Footwork is different from punching, all right? So don't do it both together. If you're throwing punches, you're stationary. You step back, cross, front hook, weight first, step forward, upper, upper. Get ready. Let's try this long combination in three, two, one, and go. Bum, 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 bum. Nicely done. One more. One, two. One, two. One, two. All right, now at your own pace. Bum, bum. Bum, bum. Good stuff, guys. Six punches in your combination. Just tried out boxing? I don't think so. Upper, upper. All right, from here. Let's take it up a notch one more time. You're going to go jab, cross, step back. Cross, front hook, relax, step forward. Upper, upper. I want you to pause. And now I want you to explode in. I want you to explode in with two punches stepping forward. Pump, pump. So the last two punches are fast. So all together, jab, cross, cross, front hook, upper, upper, take a breather, pump, pump. Fast as you can. All right, get ready. 30 seconds and go. Pump, pump. Pump, pump. All right, keep it there. Pump, pump. Upper, upper. Pump, pump. Nicely done, guys. Eight punches now in your clock. Pump, pump. I don't want you to stop. Always hands up, even if you're taking a breather. Cross, hook. Upper, upper. Relax. Pump, pump. All right. The last one minute, you're going to add four punches stepping forward. But these four punches, it don't have to be straight punches. It can be any punches, like earlier on. All right? So hold thing now together. Ten punches now. 
One, two. One, two. One, two. Relax. Bum, 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 bum. Four punches coming forward. Looks fancy. Let's go. One, two. Cross, hook. Upper, upper. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Try to find your own signature four punch combination. I like jab, cross, upper, cross. Are you ready? 25 seconds. Let's bring it home. One, two. One, two. One, two. Bum, 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 bum. Nice. One, two. One, two. One, two. Bum, 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 bum. Something different. Try it yourself. Get creative. One, two, three, four. All right. That was the last one, guys. We are done with our second segment. From here, get another commercial break. Get some water in. I will see you in for your endurance rounds. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been quite a workout, but we've got more to go. And in fact, this last segment is going to be even harder than the last, all right? We're going to go for endurance rounds right now. How are we going to go for endurance? It's going to be three minutes of non-stop work, six different exercises. Each exercise go for 30 seconds each. And after that, we're going to take a 30 second break. And from there, we're going to go back in for your second round of endurance. All right, without further ado, first exercise, I'll, I'll explain along the way. You're going to go for sumo squats. Stance wide, go all the way down, knees to elbows like I like it, come back up, calf raise, sumo squats. Get ready guys, only 30 seconds per exercise, we're going to push in 3, 2, 1, and go. Knees to elbows, and up. Don't neglect that calf raise. Nice and easy. Just like that, we're halfway through. Now. Even though this is endurance, I do not want you to compromise on the form. Slow down if you have to. In three, two, one. Next up, good old push-ups. Get ready, 30 seconds, and go. Butt low, you're gonna push your hands 45 degrees. What I don't wanna see is you pushing your hands this way. All right, this is not good for you. It's gonna hurt your shoulders. 45 degrees, tension on your triceps, chest, and back, and go. Take your time. Nice and easy. Notice again, 45 degrees with your triceps. In three, two, one. All right, back to lower body. We're gonna go for front lunges now. Lunge down and up. Lunge down and up. What I don't want you to do is bring your knees all the way down. Nope. Barely when it touches the ground, raise it back up. 10 seconds of lunges to go. Let's push, guys. It's called endurance for a reason. Three, two, one. All right, back to the push-ups now. This time, no push-ups, but low shoulder taps. Nice and stable. What you don't want to do is move your hips too much. Keep your shoulder taps nice. Keep the hip control. You're going to go for 10 seconds. Nice and controlled, guys. If you feel a hip moving, slow it down even further. Three, 
two, one. All right, next up, we're back to the inch room, but we are going to go inch room with push up. Walk down, one push up, walk back up. All right, try to go a bit more faster than we did in our warm up. Second last part of our endurance. Second last bit of 30 seconds, guys. Keep it there. Last one. Three, two, one. All right. To end it off, last 30 seconds, high knees. Get ready. Three, two, one. Put your hands here. I want to hear that tap. Signals to me and signals to you that you guys are bringing your knees up. Five seconds. Your 30 second break awaits you in three, two, and time. All right, get that break in. 30 seconds. You're going to repeat that set all over again. Now you know the exercise is proper. Now you corrected your form properly. The next time you do this, all six exercises, you go hard, you go fast. Get ready now. You're going to start off with that sumo squats again. Legs wide. Three, two, one. Squat, raise. Squat, raise. Squat, raise. Keep that back straight. Squat, raise. Get a good pace in, guys. Did I mention, after this, we have a core round, and then we're going to end off with our signature uppercut style, flow and work. I'll explain as we go. But what I'm trying to say is you only have to work for two more rounds. All right, moving on to the next, our beloved push-ups, and go. Take your time, focus on that form. Again, not too far out wide, 45 degrees. Hands go in, 45 degrees, come back up. Three, two, and time. Next up, front lunges. Are ready? 30 seconds, go. Barely touching the ground. Barely touching the ground. Nice and control. Feel that weight at the bottom, bring it back up. Let's go, guys. Five seconds. Squeeze in a bit more reps, a bit more faster. Three, two, one. Next up, let's go for the shoulder taps. Get ready. Hip low and go. Control that hip. Control that hip. You're going to fill in your core a lot more than your shoulders. It's a great core exercise as well. Teach you about control. Keep it there. In three, two, one. All right. From here, let's go for our inchworms. Get ready. Inchworms, one push up, and go. Pump, and up. Pump, and up. Woo. Let's get it, guys. 15 seconds. Two more reps. Pump, and up. Last one, last inch warm of the day. And up. All right, 30 seconds, last one. I put high knees for a reason. Get ready, three, two, one. Try to keep your hands here. Force yourself to type it up. Knees up, let's run it out. 20 seconds. Last bit of your endurance, guys. 10. In three, two, and time. That's great, guys. Two more rounds. Wipe yourself off. Wipe your area off. You're just going to lie on your back. You might have guessed it. One round of core. Three minutes of core work. I've got four different exercises for you. Each exercise goes for 45 seconds. All right. Let's get into position. Nice and easy. The OG, you're going to go for sit-ups, all right? Make sure your heels are on the floor, all the way down, all the way up, without compromising your heels coming off the floor. 
Get ready. And three, two, one, sit ups. Crunch on your core. Let's go. Nice pace, guys. Take it easy. You don't have to do much. Just let your abs hurt. 15 seconds. Keep it going. Five seconds now. In three, two, one. All right, next exercise for you guys, you're gonna go for leg raises, all right? So what you're gonna do is put your entire upper body on the floor, hands on the floor, your legs just move, legs straight, up, barely touches the floor, comes back up. Barely touches the floor, comes back up. Nice and controlled, guys. If it's there, it's that point. You wanna grit your teeth, you wanna make noises, but I don't want you to stop. Let's go. Half around left. Halfway, guys. Are you gonna give up now? In three, two, one. All right, you covered your middle core, lower core. Last stop, it's gonna be knee slides. Sorry, second last. Knee slides, heels on, heels on the floor. Resting sit up position. All you have to do, pace your lower back on the floor. Just move your hands up and down. All you have to do is move your upper back and you're going to activate your upper core. Get ready and go. Immediately, you should feel that crunch. Nice and easy. Keep it there. That's your second last one. Three out of four. 75% complete, guys. In three, two, all right. Last one. I think some of you have an idea of what I'm gonna do. You always end the core around like this. 45 seconds, nice and easy. I don't have to explain. Let's go. Butt low, let's push. Nice and easy. Here's where all the pain starts. Again, just pace yourself. Think about breakfast. 15 seconds. Think about what you're gonna do after this. Five seconds now. Let's count down together. Three, two, one. And time. All right, one last round, like I said. You're gonna finish it off like we always do with uppercut. At uppercut, we always go for speed, flow, and aggression. But I've changed it up for y'all over here right now. You're gonna go flow and work. 20 seconds of nice and easy freestyle shadow boxing. Nice and relaxed, hips and hands moving. Next 10 seconds, you're gonna work. It's either an exercise or a punch out, all right? Let's get ready. Last three minutes of work, guys. Freestyle, get ready, and go. I'm not too fast here, I'm not too slow, I'm just engaging my entire body with these punches. For those of us who are new to boxing, if you don't really have an idea of how to do a freestyle, try this out. Jab, cross, upper, upper, hook, hook. All right, from here, your first exercise is speed straight punches. Let's get to work in three, two, one, and work. Punch it out, guys. Punch it all the way out. Speed. Remember what I say about pedaling your feet. 10 seconds only. In three, two, one. Back to that flow. Nice and easy, relax. Relax. Catch your breath. Now the next work is not gonna be an exercise involving punches. You're gonna go for sprawls. And here's how you're gonna do a sprawl. Half squat seated, push up position. Half squat, push up position. All right, tell me 10 seconds. Three, two, one, it's sprawl time, let's go. Go as fast as you can, guys. Three, two, one, back to that flow. Halfway through, hands getting a bit heavier. 
Still stay on your cheek. Championship rounds right now. Show me what you got. Next work, you're gonna go for speed uppercuts. All right, let's get those hands talking. In three, two, one, go. Speed, fast as you can. Lean over, fast as you can. Shoe shine challenge, guys. Three, two, and flow. Two more, two more, two more, guys. Get ready. The next work for 10 seconds, you're gonna go for burpees. All right? Not like a sprawl, you're gonna jump all the way up. Get ready. In three, two, one, and burpee time. Let's go. Jump up. Push up position, jump. Push up position, jump. Push up, jump. Push up, jump. In three, two, one. All right, last flow. Now we're gonna end it off like we always do at uppercut. We call this aggression. It's not power, it's not speed. It's both together. It's when you know your opponent is down and you wanna go for a knockout. All right, last 10 seconds now. You're gonna punch like we never punched before. In three, two, one. Ba, 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 ba. 10 seconds, guys. Let your hands do the talking. Punch it out. All the way, all punches. And it doesn't matter what combination. Three, two, one. And time, guys. Great job. Even if you're at home, give yourself a round of applause. We conquered it. Wasn't easy, but we did it. Let's go for a quick stretch, and we'll call it a nice morning. First up, I want you to start practicing your breath. Deep breaths, in through your nose, out through your mouth. You're gonna bend down. Leg straight, all the way down, touch your toes. If you can't touch your toes, it's fine. I just want you to pulse while maintaining that breath. Keep it there. Still breathing. Next up from here, we're gonna to go to a very deep lunge. Knees all the way on the floor. Stretch out that calf, stretch out that hamstring. Still breathing. Nice and easy, guys. That wasn't easy, but we put in the work. Switch it up. Knees to chest. Last one. My favorite one for our core. Lower body on the floor, upper body face up. Look up to maximize that stretch, and don't forget to breathe. So today, we cover distance. We learned about how to move around in your boxing space, focusing on moving back and forward. I teach you a couple of combinations. I want you to take it with you when I see you next week. Tune in again to Active SG next tomorrow. I'll see you guys real soon. Take care, everybody.